Hi everyone, I am Santosh. I love to work with various tools, frameworks, software languages that ease us day-to-day -day tasks at work. One of those tools is Apache NiFi. It's a powerful tool that moves data from A to B. One of the reasons I am doing this video is I could not find very good resources to learn the examples and scenarios to use NiFi. I have noticed that it took more than expected time for a particular example. Hence, here I am posting some examples so that it can help you to minimize the effort of working with NiFi. Each video in the series will cover a particular concept. I will be glad if this helps you in your day-to-day -day work. Today, I am going to tell you about what is NiFi and how it can be used. Apache NiFi is an open source data flow management tool. While working with data, we need to do essentially three steps. Extract, transform and load. We extract our data from a source, then transform it to a desired format and load it to our desired destination. NiFi was built specifically for this purpose. It automates this data flow between systems and can work with any data content and any sizes of data, whether it's small or large. If we go to the site of NiFi, it has features list. It provides web-based user interface. It is highly configurable. It provides back pressure, which tells you about how to handle the data. It gives data provenance as a feature which tells you about the lineage of the data and, data and it helps in determining traceability. Think NiFi as a programming language. There are certain components you need to know before you jump into a programming language so that it will help you to design your code. Similarly, if we go to the Apache NiFi overview, we have certain core concepts in NiFi such as flow file, processor, connections, controllers. Flow file is essentially a wrapper of the actual data that is being transferred. Processors are the actual worker that does the processing and process group with process group. We can actually group the processors and connections. The connections are nothing but a bounded buffer which links each processors and process group and it contains the data that can transfer from one processor to another processor and we can configure the transmission at various rates. So there are more components as well like remote process groups, output port, input ports that I will tell you in the subsequent videos. If we come to the architecture part, it provides a web server that's a HTTP server which exposes a HTTP API to control the flow. The flow controller provides threads to execute the operations. The extension is being used to create processors and we can customize our own extensions as well or processors. We have got three repositories which is flow file repository, content repository and provenance repository. The flow file repository keeps track of the state of the flow file. The content repository stores the content in a block of data in the file system. In the provenance repository store data provenance events that can be used to determine the data lineage and the state of the data that how it is getting handled. So this much in the introduction. In the next video, I will show you how to install the NiFi and introduce to a basic data flow. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for next videos. Have a nice day.